Hey guys, welcome back to the Swamp. It's the Frog Frog Gamers here. I'm Apollo Boy, and this is Oh Maximum. And we're bringing you a very special video about Windows 10 update, which is coming out very soon. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we're just gonna have some gameplay of Real Madrid versus Barcelona in the background. So don't worry about that. Mhm. Mm anyway, we're gonna start talking off, and I'm gonna talk about um, I guess Windows 8. It had, it had. Windows Live, which was kind of like a failed attempt to put Xbox into PC gaming, and that didn't work very well. I don't have Windows 8, but I used that, and it was not very fun. And they also have been promising in Windows 10 a new screen feature, which will be able to share your Xbox with your PC, although there have already been programs to do that. But anyway, that's okay. I mean, I guess that's what Xbox wants to do. They want to try to integrate both of their systems a bit more. Which I think is kind of cool, and the update sounds really cool, but, you know, sometimes Windows updates have been very anticlimactic, because Windows 8 was supposed to be great, and it was not. But anyway, they have kind of redesigned their features, I guess, and they've kind of built Windows 10 like Xbox from the ground up, so yeah. Exactly, so what he said, basically... Um, Windows 10 copies will usually come with the Xbox app, which connects the players to the console itself, and this means that they're actually going to have a lot more interaction between the different console and the actual Xbox systems, and it actually brings a dashboard experience to the PCs, so the PC gamers will actually get a new experience that is unlike what happened in the past updates. Um, the app will actually let them you know, access their friends and messages just like a real Xbox system would, but instead on the new PC. So yeah, that's pretty, I mean, those are pretty cool, pretty cool things that you'll be able to use your Xbox and your PC kind of similarly, and unlike, you know, the Windows 8 games like I had mentioned earlier, uh, the new program that he talked about seemed to be pretty open, like you should be able to get Steam games in there, and Microsoft games, so like, if you have a Steam game and you want to play it on this new app, you should be able to use the app as well, which I think is actually pretty cool that they're not just limiting it to like whatever games they have, although I'm pretty sure Minecraft is now a Microsoft game, so... Yeah. But it will be cool that all games should be able to be on this new app thing for Xbox. It's really cool, and in fact, in this new update, they're actually going to try including a game DVR software, which is a thing that the Xbox One is offering for the recording and editing of gameplay footage. So you can actually record your own gameplay footage from the Xbox One, and it'll be available on the Windows 10 devices in the new update. So yeah, that is like, these have been some really cool updates, but this has been like, this is the biggest update feature, which is like, got me really excited, yeah. and that is cross-platform playing, Ooh. which means... Basically, if you don't know what that means, that'll be Xbox should, in theory, if they're not lying to us, be able to play with PC players. So pretty much if you're playing a game on Xbox, you could come up against a PC opponent. Yeah. Now, what I think about this is that it's a very great idea, and it could work really well for some games, but some games like shooters and stuff like that, PCs will have a big upper hand in shooters because the mouse is like so much more accurate and there's not, like, auto-assist like there is on Xbox. Mm -hmm. But in other games, it could be, like, a huge Xbox advantage. Like, I don't play very many games on... I actually don't play any games on Xbox, but there are some, like, big features that you could get that some games will have different advantages on. But I think for, like, FIFA, for instance, it should work really, really well because the market will be opened up on Ultimate Team and there'll be loads of new, um, new players to play with because the PC market... It's kind of dead since the new update. <laughs> but yeah, this new feature should be very cool, and I, I'm pretty excited to see how it's going to work out. Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty interesting to see how other games, like maybe Call of Duties and other first-person shooters, even Minecraft, are going to work out using the different, you know, systems. It would be kind of interesting to see the different styles of gameplay. And if you're going up against a person that's using the different device, like you're using the console and they're using the Xbox One, it'd be pretty interesting to see who has the upper hand. Maybe someone has a better advantage. Also, uh, Microsoft announced that they're going to support game streaming across their new platforms. So they actually promised that, that that's coming later this year. And there'll be players will be able to stream the game. 
from the Xbox One to the actual Windows 10 PCs and other Windows 10 devices, like the tablets, <laughs> except the smartphones, which is a bit of a you know bummer if you have a Windows 10 smartphone, but you will be able to stream games all across the other devices, as long as they're from Microsoft and Xbox One. So yeah, all these new things are like pretty awesome features, and you might be wondering when this is coming out, and... What Microsoft says is that it will be out July 29th, yeah. but, you know, you never know with Microsoft. But also, <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure they're offering a free upgrade for, like, Windows 7 and Windows 8, so you could get a free upgrade to Windows 10 Hopefully. if that is something you're looking forward to, which I think could be pretty cool. I mean, if that's, it's actually nice that they're giving it to Windows, to Windows 7 and 8, although it's, it's a bit suspicious to me that they're giving it out for free. It doesn't seem like the Microsoft way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright uh -oh. guys, that was our news update covering all the new information about the Microsoft and Windows 10 and how it's going to be working out and all the in-depth features about it. So if you enjoyed this video, please comment down below your suggestions and opinions about the new Windows 10 service. Do you like some of these topics? Do you not like how we can actually cross-play against Xbox and Microsoft devices. We want to know your feedback in the comment section below. How it works out with um, the new update. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see all this new stuff happening. Make sure to let us know if you guys are excited or not, not excited, or if you think this will be a good or bad idea. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and we hope to see you next time at the swamp. Microsoft.